In this video, we present our paper, Bird's Eye View Panoptic Segmentation Using Monocular Frontal View Images. The bird's eye view map has emerged as one of the most popular representations in robotics due to its ability to represent the world around an autonomous vehicle in a clear and concise manner. This map has found use in tasks such as object tracking and path planning among many others. Although these bird's eye view maps can be easily generated when depth information is available, predicting them directly from a monocular image is extremely challenging. Existing bird's eye view segmentation approaches work solely in the semantic domain, which restricts their use in many real-world applications where the knowledge of instances is also crucial. We address this limitation by proposing the first bird's eye view panoptic segmentation model that not only predicts semantic and instance masks, but also intelligently fuses them to generate a coherent panoptic image. Here are a few example predictions from our model. We propose a novel panoptic bird's eye view architecture to generate such bird's eye view panoptic maps using monocular RGB images. A single monocular RGB image is processed by the efficient dead D3 backbone to produce four feature maps of strides 4, 8, 16 and 32. Each of the four feature scales is then independently transformed into the bird's eye view using a novel dense transformer module. The semantic head then consumes these transformed feature maps to generate the semantic logins. Simultaneously, the instance head also processes the transformed feature maps to generate the bounding boxes, class masks and class predictions for the detected instances. Lastly, the semantic logins from the semantic head and the three outputs from the instance head are fused in our panoptic fusion module to generate the panoptic prediction in the bird's eye view. Our dense transformer module is based on the observation as to how different regions in the 3D world are projected onto a 2D image. A column belonging to flat regions maps to a perspectively distorted area in the bird's eye view. On the other hand, a column belonging to a vertical non-flat region maps to an area that is defined by an orthographic projection of a volumetric region. We incorporate this observation into our transformer and subsequently use two distinct transformers to transform the vertical and flat regions independently. The input feature map is first split into vertical and flat regions using a semantic masking module. The vertical features are then processed by the vertical transformer which implicitly creates a volumetric grid before flattening it to generate the vertical bird's eye view features. Simultaneously, the flat features are transformed into the bird's eye view using the flat transformer that comprises the IPM algorithm followed by an error correction module. The transformed vertical and flat features are then merged in the bird's eye view space to generate the composite bird's eye view feature map. We also introduce a novel sensitivity-based weighting function to account for the varying levels of descriptiveness across an RGB image. Owing to the perspective projection of RGB cameras, the apparent motion for closed regions is much larger than that of farther ones when a point in the 3D world is moved by a given distance. This disparity makes differentiating between small changes in distance much more difficult for farther regions as compared to closer ones. We account for this disparity by proposing a sensitivity-based weighting function to upweight farther regions. This upweighting allows the network to focus more on the farther regions which helps in improving the overall model accuracy. The plot of the sensitivity-based weight as a function of the spatial location in the bird's eye view is shown on the left and the equations used to generate it are shown on the right. In the set of equations shown on the right, fx and fy refer to the focal length of the frontal view camera in terms of pixels, x, y and z refer to the position of a point in the 3D space and lambda s denotes a constant scaling factor which is set to 10. Our model achieves state-of-the-art results in the panoptic segmentation task by outperforming its competitors by more than 20% on the Kitty360 dataset and 33% on the New Scenes dataset. A corresponding bird's eye view semantic model also achieves state of the art results, outperforming the baselines by nearly 4 percentage points 
on both the Kitty 360 and NewScene's datasets. Here are some more qualitative results from our model. For more information about our work, please visit the project page using the URL shown here.